Okay, I think we can go ahead and get started now. Thank you guys all for coming. Um, as I said before, this is uh, our CALS major panel in March. Um, my name is Tatum Satterley. I'm a senior this year in CALS. I'm studying genetics and genomics, and I'm a CALS ambassador, which um, is a student organization that um, is made up by all students of CALS who work with prospective students like you guys and also current Cal students. And joining me tonight is Plia. Hi everyone, my name is Plia Chong. I'm the prospective student services coordinators. Um, so I advise the Cal's ambassadors and also um, coordinate the visit days for Cal's. Um, so we're really um, excited to have you here today and to learn more about the majors we offer in Cal's. Okay. Yeah, sorry. Go ahead. Leo. Sorry. All right. So to kick us off, uh, we just wanted to quickly share with you some of um, the, the CALS Bachelor of Science degree requirements. Um, so in CALS, we have about 24 majors, uh, which you'll get to learn more about them in a little bit. Um, so in order to graduate with your bachelor's degree in CALS, uh, our minimum requirements are on the top left of the screen. So that includes 120 credits minimum, having a 2.0 cumulative GPA, and your last 30 credits um, being taken in residence after 86. So what this means is that at the University of Wisconsin-Madison, once you have reached 86, 86 credits, you are officially at senior standing. And we just ask that any 30 credits you take after 86, you take it at the UW-Madison campus. So that's what that third um, check mark means. And now you may be thinking 120 credits sounds a lot. So we broke it down into four categories as you see in the center of your screen. So we have your general education requirements, your CALS requirements, um, and then your major and degree requirements and your electives. Um, so your general education requirements, which we'll talk about in the next slide, and then for CALS requirements, um, so we have eight schools and colleges on the UW-Madison campus, so depending on which school or college you're in, you will fulfill those requirements, and then depending on what major or degree program you pursue, you'll also um, complete those requirements. And then the electives is kind of like a catch-all um, to help you reach your 120 credits, so this can be courses you take out of interest. It could be courses you take to fulfill a certificate, uh, which is the equivalent of a minor on campus or a double major and many more. We also just want to highlight that all of our CALS majors can be completed within uh, four years, even if you're coming in without any AP, IB or transfer credits. So this was the uh, general education requirements I was talking to talking about earlier. So um, these can also be referred to as your gen eds or your UW requirements. So these are requirements that every UW Madison student will have to take in order to graduate um, from um, our university. Um, so this includes um, breath courses. So you'll take six credits in either humanities, literature, or the arts, and then you'll have um, additional breath to take. So that will be your natural sciences, anywhere from four to six credits. Um, and then also a social science or social studies, which is three credits. And then your communication part A and B, this is your English comp composition and comprehension courses. Um, and then the ethnic studies, which is three credits. And then your quantitative reasoning part A and part B. So this is um, mainly your math and your calc and your physics. All right. And then for Cal specific requirements, here it is uh, broken down. So you have your first year seminar requirement, which is one credit. Um, so there's many options for you to complete this on campus um, and also very interesting courses. Uh, one of the ways that you can complete this is through our Cal's Quick Start program. Um, so uh, I know we have Jordan on the call here today too. So if you're interested in learning about Quick Start, you're more than welcome to um, join her and also uh, she will be in the BSC room. Um, so there's that. And then we also have the international studies requirement, uh, which will be a credit course. And then because um, in CALS, we only offer bachelor of science degrees, you'll notice that the remaining credits are all science courses. Uh, so that includes uh, physical science, 
uh, so which is basically your chemistry, and then your biological science, an additional science, and a science breadth. And lastly, um, a capstone course. So a uh, majority of our majors, uh, there is a capstone that students will take in their senior year um, and to also um, take before they graduate. So that is a little bit about the major, um, about the, the gen eds and the CALS requirements um, that we um, have in CALS. Um, so I just also want to briefly mention that we do share four majors with the College of Letters and Science, um, and those majors are biology, biochemistry, environmental sciences, and microbiology. Um, the major is exactly the same. The only difference is the degree requirements. Um, so again, in CALS, we only offer Bachelor of Science degrees. And if you pursue any of those four majors in Letters and Science, you have the option to pursue either a Bachelor of Arts or a Bachelor of Science. Basically, Bachelor of Science means you take um, more sciences and less humanities courses. And then Bachelor of Arts um, is more humanities and less sciences. So um, whether you choose to do any of those four majors in either CALS or Letters and Science, um, there's no right or wrong choice. It just really depends on you and what kind of classes and what kind of education experience you uh, uh, want to get out of it. Um, so with that, I'm going to turn it over back to Tatum. Thanks, Plia. And so as Plia was saying, um, in addition to your university requirements and the college requirements, there's also major requirements. And in CALS, um, there are 24 majors. And uh, today we've got eight different students in CALS right now that are pursuing uh, all of these majors up here. And so we thought it'd be best to learn about the majors that you may be interested in from the students who are actually pursuing this major. So um, I'll have the major representatives unmute themselves and do a quick introduction um, one by one. Uh, my name is Kilba Cowan. I'm a senior here at UW, and I am currently double majoring in dairy science and computer science. Um, I kind of picked the area. I started dairy science. I always had an interest in agriculture, and um, over the course of my four years here, I kind of decided that technology was another side I wanted to, to get myself into. So with that double major, I've accepted a position within Eurus and Valley Ag Software, and I'll be doing some software engineering work within that. Hi hey everyone, um, I'm Lily Miller. Um, I'm a horticulture student here, but I'm also a community and environmental sociology major, which is another CALS major that isn't represented here today. So if you have questions about that one too, I'd love to talk about it, um, as well as a Middle East Studies certificate. Um, like I say on the slide, to be brief, I'm just really interested in um, community food sovereignty, have, helping um, whatever area I find myself in in the future. Uh, with their foodways, access to fresh, clean produce, um, and also any cultural and spiritual connections that there are to food. Um, I'll be moving to New York with my partner after this year, and I'm currently looking to get into urban agriculture there, but my, my long-term goal is to work um, abroad and gain some apprenticeship skills. I'm interested in doing practical horticulture, so a track than an academic track. Um, but my longest term goal is to have my own hobby farm. <laughs> so if anyone else is interested, join in with me. Um, but yeah, that's all I have to say. Hi everyone, uh, my name is Jordan. I'm a junior in uh, biological systems engineering, BSE, specifically in the natural resources track. Um, and I'm also getting certificates in environmental studies and religious studies. So if you have questions about those things, I can answer them. Um, basically, so I got into BSE because I'm kind of interested in like a lot of different facets of sustainability and technology, like where those two things intersect and BSE kind of allows me to explore like a lot of different aspects of it. But specifically, I really am interested in like the intersection of ecology and agriculture and how we can make agriculture more ecologically beneficial. Um, so kind of like my career goals right now is to work in habitat restoration for um, ecosystems that are adjacent to agriculture. So um, 
yeah, I'm excited to talk to all of you. And then um, Clea mentioned I'm a TA for the CALS Quick Start program. So as CALS admitted students, you're all eligible to participate this summer. So if you have questions about that, I can definitely answer them too. Hi everyone, my name is Asha. Um, sorry, I don't have a lot written on my slide. I'm a junior, I'm majoring in biochemistry and South Asian studies. So if you have any questions about getting a certificate in LNS along with a major in CALS, I can definitely help you out with that. Um, I'm really interested in biochemistry, particularly because I'm hopefully gonna go to med school in the future. And I think biochemistry really ties in a lot of um, human anatomy, um, physiology, the curriculum is mostly focused on learning about um, metabolic pathways within the body, if that's something that you're interested in. Um, yeah, I look forward to talking with you guys later on in this meeting. Um, hi, everyone. My name is Kayla Griffin. I'm uh, in my third year, and I'm double majoring in neurobiology and global health. Um, neurobiology is in the LNS um, college and global health is in CALS. So I can talk about um, kind of doing a double major in that too. Um, I've been super interested in neurobiology since high school. Um, I think it's like a cool perspective on anatomy and just kind of physiology of, of the body. Um, and I am really passionate about global health. It, I originally started with a certificate, um, but then it got bumped up to a major in the past year. So that was exciting. Um, and I hope to go to PA school after graduation, and I'm thinking about pursuing a uh, master's in public health as well. Um, so that's kind of my foundation. Um, hopefully I can help answer any questions you guys have about either of those things. Hi guys, my name is Maggie Ingaseth. I am a senior in animal science major. Um, I'm studying pre-veterinary medicine. Um, I grew up on a beef cattle farm and have always wanted to be a veterinarian one day. Um, and the reason I chose to major in animal science is because I wanted to expand my animal and general agriculture now agricultural knowledge through the various required classes and labs associated with this major um, and the various prerequisite courses um, required for vet school. Um, the CALS department at UW Madison has amazing hands-on opportunities and that has um, supported my decision to continue in the agricultural industry and continue to pursue veterinary medicine. Um, I plan to go to vet school one day um, and yeah, just continue um, working with animals and helping them. And I'm excited to talk to all you guys tonight. Hey everyone, um, I'm Chastin. I'm a third year wildlife ecology and LSC double major student. Um, I'm from Western North Carolina. That's where this picture is taken. And uh, I chose wildlife ecology because of like how interdisciplinary it can be. But also it was kind of a winding road in that I was originally biology. Then I took OCHEM a couple times and decided it wasn't for me and switched to wildlife ecology. And so I can talk to y'all about those, you know, those kind of, um, realizations that some students might have going through their academic career here. Um, after graduation, I do want to pursue research. Um, I don't know about what I know in here, I mentioned something about like population dynamics and predator prey, um, but I'm also interested in like the sixth mass extinction and overall the whole program is just a very interesting one that I am really glad to be a part of and um, definitely a gap year coming before I decided to go on to graduate school or anything. So if you have any questions about the major or the program or getting involved or anything like that, then look forward to answering those. Hi guys, uh, my name is Aiden Olson. I am a junior and I'm in the forest sciences department. So we spend most of our time, you know, kind of out walking through the woods. I was out there on a picnic point today doing an inventory. Uh, I am focusing on forest and environment. So that's the interactions between forest health and the environment around it. That's gonna be you know, insects, terrestrial vertebrates, uh, things along those lines and how they can interact with the forest. Um, I grew up being outside. So I chose this major mostly because I knew I would be able to be outside and you know, be doing what I like to do anyways. Um, after college, I wanna try and find a position uh, working in Alaska, doing any sort of, uh, you know, 
remote forest monitoring, whether it's, you know, through uh, physical uh, measurements where I'm, you know, out there or uh, aerial photography and trying to interpret that. Okay, thank you guys all so much for sharing. Um, and so the way that we're planning on doing this panel tonight um, is in breakout rooms. So I just opened um, eight different breakout rooms. If you go to the bottom of your screen, you should see an option for breakout rooms. Um, and we're gonna have all of our representatives move into the breakout room that they're representing. And um, the breakout rooms are open. So if you're interested in multiple majors, or maybe you were interested in um, what one of our representatives is planning to do after college and wanna just ask them questions, then feel free to move between groups um, however, however you'd like. Um, and if you have any technical issues at all, um, you can come back into the main room or you can ask one of our representatives for help. Um, but unless anyone's got any questions, you guys are feel free to move into whatever breakout rooms you're interested in. Okay, well, thank you guys all for coming so much and a big thank you to all our representatives for taking the time uh, to come and do this. Before you guys leave, um, we've just got some information about some future events for admitted students. We're gonna be having an admitted students week um, this month and also we have one next month as well in April. And so for the rest of uh, this week, on Wednesday, we've got an undergraduate research panel. So if you're interested in doing research while you're in school, this would be a great panel to check out. And on Friday, we've got an academic opportunities panel as well to check out. Um, and so then next month, we've got a similar panel, majors panel with some different majors, um, and then another panel about how to study and pick classes. So if you're interested in any of those panels, um, you can, register for those events the same way that you registered for this one. Um, you can also attend some CALS info sessions, um, which just gives additional information about CALS. And if you've got any questions, you can either email us at the CALS email we have listed here, or you can email myself, or you can email Clea as well. And we do have um, a YouTube channel that Plia has just sent a couple of links to in the chat. We've got a few videos up right now um, about um, from our previously recorded panels. Um, so if you guys have any uh, additional questions, you can ask them in the chat. Um, and if not, thank you so much for attending this event. We hope that it was helpful.